Jesus, according to Christianity, is quite a vengeful and wrathful God, or at least he was in Old Testament times. How can a Christian who has to believe all this about Jesus Christ turn around and criticize Islam for violence, especially since, according to the Bible, Jesus even calls for killing women, children, and infants? There's nothing like that in the Quran and Hadith. So isn't this the most outrageous double standard? David Wood, please explain this. Explain how you can criticize Islam and smear the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, as a violent, bloodthirsty warmonger when, according to your own theology, your God, Jesus Christ, also commanded and approved of all these things and more. So David Wood, you're extremely dishonest when you criticize Islam. And in fact, Christians should really hate you for what you're doing because you're essentially training your fellow Christians to reject the Bible and hate Moses and Jesus. Because when you tell your Christian audience that Islam is a false religion because it has violence and intolerance, what's going to happen when those same Christians open up the Bible and read all the violence and intolerance within its pages? They'll have to conclude that Christianity is a false religion too. So when you try to score cheap points against Islam on violence, you're basically undermining the Bible and Moses and Jesus at the same time. You are in fact helping atheists drive Christians into apostasy and to lose faith. You're paving the road for this. How do you justify that, David? The second in inconsistency from Christian missionaries and apologists is what I call the Christian governance.